Welcome to uh, the DevOps Institute Site Reliability Engineering Foundation course. These are the official training materials. Um, the DevOps Institute is a subsidiary of PeopleCert, so PeopleCert is offering this course through um, the DevOps family of products. Welcome to this course offered by One World Training. Uh, as you may know, One World Training is a very large global training company having offices in various places around the world, including the United States, the UK, Netherlands, India, United M uh, UAE, and many other countries uh, globally. Uh, One World Training provides training in various topics, focusing especially on information technology, business management, project management, standards like ISO and uh, regulatory and compliance areas like GDPR and many others. In fact, over 150 trainings, not only for individuals, but for organizations and businesses as well. Uh, One World Training delivers courses in a variety of formats, pretty flexible in that regard. For example, public classroom-based training, online training from home or work, e-learning approaches and blended approaches where you have self-paced e-learning or in-person support with instructions or even at the user's location with on-site training support for both private, government, and uh, other types of organizations. Uh, One World Training is an authorized training center with accredited uh, accreditations for all the courses it offers, certified instructors and accredited instructors for the different topics that they're they're teaching. Uh, many affiliations, such as the ITIL series from Axios and PeopleCert, Prince uh, Two offerings, uh, Agile offerings, offerings from ISACA, the DevOps Institute. SDI, ITAM, and others. And stay tuned because I, One World Training is a constantly evolving and growing its capabilities and offerings. So take a look at OneWorldTraining.com, bookmark that, and keep an eye on new opportunities for learning. So that's I, One World Training. Let's talk a little bit about me for a moment. Who am I? Uh, my name is Mark Hornbeek. I'm referred to as DevOps the Gray, and the reason is I claim I've been doing DevOps for a very long time, long before it was actually a word. Uh, so fundamentally, the idea of automating and integrating you know, development activities and operations activities together to be more effective. I currently run a little boutique consulting firm called Engineering DevOps Consulting, of which I am the CEO and founder. Uh, we work together with some partners to deliver a variety of services, including training services, but also consulting and uh, writing services and things of that nature. Education-wise, I have BEng Canada, uh, a Bachelor of Science with engineering uh, specialties in electrical engineering, software and networks, and a Master's of Business Administration from Pepperdine University in California. I was the uh, awarded the IEEE Outstanding Engineer in 2016 uh, for the Western Region United States. I hold a lot of different certifications. The ones that I focus on primarily are continuous testing, DevOps, DevSecOps, site reliability engineering, and something that I call intelligent continuous security, which is an evolution of DevSecOps but it's more integrated with SecOps together. Um, I have a lot of affiliations and I'm an alumnus of more than 26 organizations. I'm an instructor, blogger, speaker, and author. Uh, the three books that I'm most known for are shown at the bottom. Engineering DevOps is a prescriptive approach to doing DevOps to help organizations understand how to do DevOps at a higher level of performance than they're doing otherwise. Uh, the second book shown here is mostly about the second way of DevOps, which 
turns out to be important for a lot of other frameworks. So the idea of continuous testing, quality, continuous security, and continuous feedback. The most recent book, which is actually being published this year, it's already available on the, you know, as a download or pre-reading pre before it becomes a print um, uh, printed version. So and it's called Intelligent Continuous Security. As I mentioned, it's about integrating the practices of DevSecOps and SecOps together to provide a more secure, you know, end-to-end -to -end environment. So that's me. Uh, I will be your instructor for a series of courses offered by One World Training, and I appreciate the opportunity. I look forward to helping you on your learning journey and encourage you to continue uh, with this course and others beyond this. This is a syllabus of the course. There are really uh, eight primary modules that are broken down accord, you know, logically according to these major topics. So first of all, we're going to talk about the principles and practices of site reliability engineering, just to put things in a grand perspective, you know, what really constitutes SRE. As you'll hear from me probably multiple times, there is no standard even though there are books and recommended practices, really SRE, like a lot of the other software frameworks, are defined by their principles and practices that's, that are within scope of what we call SRE. Other than that, there's some particularly practices that are uh, associated with SRE, something called service level objectives, which I believe is the most important type of distinguishing practices for SRE. And associated with that, air budgets and something called air budget policies. Reducing toil, in my opinion, is kind of the second most important distinguishing set of practices for SRE. We'll talk about that. Monitoring and observability kind of go hand in hand together with service level indicators. So that's another module. The longest module in the course is something called tools and automation. Now, a lot of people want to jump into talking about technology and tools, but I will remind you multiple times throughout the course that you know, that, that is important, but it's certainly not sufficient. Uh, there's an old adage that you can have all the best tools in the world, but if you don't have the right culture, the right concepts, mental thinking um, and processes, the, the tools aren't gonna do you a lot of good. So it's all about having a balance between people aspects technologies and processes. Another whole pillar of practice is anti-fragility and learning from failure. This is the idea that you, no one can anticipate all possible failures. And it's an opportunity to learn from failures, either whether they're in uh, you know prescribed experiments or through actual failures or different ways of learning from failure, rather than just covering up failure. The organizational aspects of SRE, how to embrace SRE, how to deal with different kinds of organizational concerns in order to adopt SRE across an organization is what that module is covering. There are some other things in that module as well. The title doesn't completely cover things like scaling and the something. There's, a, I believe, a job description in there as well and a few other things. The final module is talking about SRE in relation to other software frameworks such as you know, DevOps, um, ITIL, Agile, I think platform engineering too. So those are the core you know, course uh, syllabus items that we're gonna be covering in the course throughout all the, all the modules. So let's get going, module one, principles and practices. We'll start this by just having you do a little self-reflection no, when we say principles and practices, what the heck do we mean? <laughs> so think about that. Um, so in, in general, principles and practices um, help you understand you know, what is SRE. Like I said, most of these frameworks are not really standard. They're really defined by the principles and practices that are associated with the framework, that are within scope of the framework. One of the core uh interacting frameworks is DevOps. So how does DevOps relate to SRE? What's the difference? What are the similarities? How do they intersect? And then the more detailed about principles and practices. That's the syllabus for this module. 
a little bit of a repeat of the syllabus, but then uh, every module has a, a, a consistent structure. There's a video. In this case, there's going to be a video from Google, one of their fundamental videos, that some of the folks from Google that are, you know, Google's credited with creating the, the at least the terminology SRE and the framework. And so there's a couple of folks from Google talking about DevOps and SRE. Then there's a case story from Bloomberg. I will point out that all the case stories in the course are really just examples of something that is, you know, showing the reality, uh, you know, re a real world example of whatever the module's talking about, in this case, uh, principles and practices. There are a number of discussions. Since this is a self-paced course, you know, you're encouraged to have discussions, uh, at least mentally, <laughs> and self-reflect. If you have some other people that you can chat with about some topics, that's not a bad idea to get some interaction on a discussion point. So these, these are suggested discussions, as well as some exercises. I'll fill in, uh, you know, my own perspectives from here uh, throughout these things and some of my own stories just to help make it interesting. Uh, but again, uh, some of these discussions and exercises, I, I would encourage you to engage some other people that you like to engage with to actually have some of these discussions with them as well.